deep fried, but it is vegetarian. Yeah. Uh, it does have healthy vegetable ingredients. It can ingredients. be non-veg. It can be non-veg. We uh, sometimes will experiment with trying different yeah. recipes out. After all, it's just a uh, it's just a container for whatever you decide to fill into it. That's right. <laughs> Well, folks, I wanted to highlight uh, one of the emails that we got from our viewers last week. This is from Daniel Price, who says, Wow, what a difference from the same old news program. Thirst in America rocks. <laughs> Thank you for the eye-opening experience with two hosts that are pleasant and fun. This is the kind of feedback we love to get from our viewers, and I highly encourage those of you that watch our show to write to us. Let us know what you're thinking. Let us know how you enjoy the show. Share the topics you'd like for us that you want us to talk about. Encourage us. And encourage us. Let us know where you're watching us. That's also very uh, helpful to us to know how far we reach and uh, what you're thinking of us across the country. Folks, this weekend is holy. Those of you who don't know holy, holy is actually a festival of colors. This is a springtime, so people in India, what they do, they take the color powder and put it on your cheeks and everywhere else, and if they are real naughty, they will put the color in the water and, you know, pump it over to your clothes and everything else. But this <laughs> also has a religious connotation. So almost every temple celebrates holy. So look out for the temples in your area and go there. This is a fun weekend. And, of course, you'll get to eat jalebi. What is a jalebi? A jalebi, the closest thing I've come across is a funnel cake. Think of a funnel cake that's just drenched in that sweet honey liquid with powdered sugar on top. We eat it with yogurt sometimes, just yes. a way to soften the sweetness. But it's wonderful because it's served hot and crispy. And, oh, you're making me hungry. <laughs> and the good ones have a little bit of rose water on it, and it smells just mm. terrific. March 8th was International Women's Day, and it was celebrated right here in Washington, D.C. by the World Bank. Among the many guests in attendance was the wife of the former British Prime Minister, Tony Blair, Sherry Blair. Uh, we had a chance to catch up with her, and this is brought to you by M8Z Network's correspondent, Roxana Solano. So stay tuned for that, folks. And from both of us here on Thirsten America, we hope that you have a wonderful holy and a wonderful weekend ahead. Namaste. Namaste. On the 100th anniversary of International Women's Day, I want to say to every woman in the world, and every man, good man who supports her, that you're not alone, that together we really are going to make a difference and change the world for the better. Thank you. Over 100 years we have been celebrating the International Women's Day and we talk with Ms. Sherry Blair about the challenges and achievements women have nowadays at the IFC World Bank. On March 8th, the World Bank Group's International Finance Corporation celebrated the 100th anniversary of International Women's Day with special guest Sherry Blair, the wife of former British Prime Minister Tony Blair and founder of the Sherry Blair Foundation for Women. Mrs. Blair discussed how her foundation helps female entrepreneurs build businesses by offering access to technology, networks, finance, and support. Can I first of all say how delighted and honored I am to celebrate the 100th anniversary of International Women's Day here in the IFC, which has done so much, uh, particularly under its current leadership, to promote the cause of women. I am lucky enough to have been born at a time and to have lived through the last 50 years of extraordinary progress for women in my country, the United Kingdom, here in the United States, and across many other parts of the world. Well, women obviously are in a much better position than they were 100 years ago. Uh, as I said in my speech, then only uh, two countries had women able to vote now I think we're like, what, two, only two countries that don't. So that makes a, a big, a big, big difference. So we've got a lot to celebrate, and I think we have to be positive and, and, and be grateful that we are born at this time when actually opportunities for women open up. But there's no doubt at all, of course, there's a long way to go. The extraordinary thing about women entrepreneurs is that now we see in all these studies that the World Bank, the IFC, and, and other bodies do, but actually they say, oh, you know, women are quite good, you know, we're more than quite good, women are good at business. If you invest in women, they pay you back. Women don't take 
foolish risks. Uh, but women, on the other hand, are good at, at, at making money go further and, and, and long-term planning. And yet, despite all of this, uh, when it comes to our business practices, the fact that you're a woman in too many parts of the world mean that the men who are lending you the finance uh, or the men who are making the opportunities available don't take you seriously. And we have to change that. At the International Finance Corporation, our focus is on helping women business owners, you know, business women, uh, succeed. Um, that means helping them with the skills that they need to grow their businesses. But significantly, it means helping them get access to finance. Investing in education of girls is obviously vitally important. But so too are the measures to help unlock the business potential of women within the developing world. And this is where the IFC has played such an important role. We see problems all over the world. The uh, uh, women form the majority of business owners. Uh, in most countries in the world, but their access to credit is much lower. So there is a mismatch in almost every country in the world. Focusing on giving women financial independence is really important because financial independence allows you to walk away from an abusive relationship, allows you to ensure that your children get educated, you know, it allows you to ensure that your children are, are immunized, allows you to have a voice in your community because it brings respect, success breeds. Respect. For more information on IFC and its mission, visit ifc.org.